Hey folks, this is Jeff again, SimSamurai.net. This is part four of building your own little trim wheel box and just wanted to show you the box completed and ready to be put in the throttle quadrant, which is sitting right here. Um, as you can see, we've got our flap switch mounted and its wire is uh, all soldered and ready to go on the desktop aviator 2090 board, which is sitting right there. Mounted that on some little nylon posts and uh, hot glued it in. I used some of those rubber grommets that I bought um, to elevate that. You want your uh, little project board here to sit up a good half inch off the metal so that the metal underneath the board doesn't make any contact with the board itself. So this needs to be raised up a little bit. Uh, you can see its USB plug goes under the main trim rod here. I hot glued the wires down. You can see the gears now. You can see how they mesh together nicely. Um, and as the trim wheels turn, that will in turn turn the potentiometer for the trim. Uh, here you can see the speed brake lever. I have not glued the, the, uh, the actual knob on yet. Uh, I'm going to put this up under the, the panel up here. And then uh, once it's mounted and screwed into place, I can then take some more hot glue and glue that on. Um, the flap switch, as you can see, has to be mounted to the deck itself. And so that got uh, mounted and then as I uh, mount the box into place I will then take the little uh, connector here and then place it onto uh, this side up here in the uh, rotary section first in the list the uh, three pins let me use the top row for that as you can see on this side this is the analog side and I've got the speed brake lever and the trim wheel um, both of which are analog potentiometers and so they are mounted on the little analog side so pretty simple enough. I uh, haven't really tested it yet. I can test it for computer functionality first. It's probably a good idea to do before you actually, uh, you know, per more permanently mount it into the throttle quadrant. But I'm going to hope that I did a good job and hope that all my solders are correct. And so I'm just going to go ahead and mount the thing anyway and then test it once it's in place. If I need to take it off, uh, I've got some standoffs here. Again, using some of those rubber grommets and some uh, inch and a quarter screws that come through these holes that I drilled uh, and so basically it's just these four screws that you see that uh, hold it up onto the throttle quadrant. So in the next step you're going to see uh, everything's going to be mounted up and pretty much ready to fly and configure in the computer. Um, as you can see over here I also had to uh, break out a Dremel tool, use my drill and uh, drill out the slot for where the speed, speed brake lever is going to come up through there. Um, you know, this project does take some considerable amount of time, actually, more time than I had even thought it was going to take. And I'm pretty skilled at kind of doing this stuff and knowing how to accurately measure holes and distances to get everything sided up. And that's also very important when you do this. You know, you want to get your distance of, uh, you know, how far this edge is to where your switch needs to go and exactly where that needs to rest in these uh, slots. Same thing with your speed brake lever. You know, you want to set that very straight first measure the distance from here to your front. You can see I had to notch this out a little bit with my four inch angle grinder cutting wheel because I wanted it tied up against these posts and yet I didn't want it to rub up against any of my radios or my USB cords hanging down. So I had to do a little bit of fabrication and uh, you know modifying to get everything to fit right. Um, you know from the last video I'd probably say it's been six hours um, so, you know, this does take some time and patience to get it right, but, uh, you know, once it's in and ready to go, hopefully it should work and, uh, we'll be flying soon. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in part five when we're ready to fly. Bye.